Hello everyone, welcome again to Thai Finance. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a vertical analysis of a balance sheet. Here in front of you, you have an ordinary balance sheet of millions of dollars of three years, 2008, 9 and 10. What we're going to do now is to add a column so that we can calculate the vertical analysis. And this way it's visually more, much more friendly, you know. You can see the year and the and we will type the proportions here. So the vertical analysis, remember, helps us to see how the proportions of every element of the balance sheet changes over the years. So we can see, we will type the evolutions and see how, for example, inventory changed um, in proportion every year. And in this case, every item will be uh, divided by the total assets and the total liabilities and equity. So every element will be a proportion of these two, the total assets and the liability. So let's start. So as I said, the these parts will be the 100%. So we will type 100% in each one of the cells. The same here here and finally here so we will start typing the formulas you have to click here equal to tell Excel that we're going to start a formula and get the first element and divided by the total assets times 100 remember because this is a percentage and now we press command T and we press enter and this will give us the ratio of 10. This means that cash from all the total assets here, cash is 10%. So if we drag it down, we will calculate automatically all the other numbers. So uh, we will continue here making the same thing, which is take this element divided by the total liabilities and equity times 100 because it's a percentage and we will fix this element with command T and we will press enter and it will give us the result. It's a coincidence that is 10% as well but we will drag and it will calculate automatically the other numbers. So here we can see for example that out of the total abilities and equity the current liabilities it's 42% but this is more like a visual aid instead of don't take conclusions too, too, well. too fast. So let's, let's calculate the other elements and then we can see more in depth how this helps us. So this will make it fix, command T, enter, and then we press and drag down. Now here we'll tell Excel that we want a formula, we will divide it by the total times 100 and we will make this fixed. And this is it. Now we drag down and we make the same thing here. So now we have made all the calculations of the vertical analysis. And you can see, for example, uh, in receivables, all the assets that will be, will convert into cash in less than a, in less than a year. So in 2008, it was 32, but then it improved. For example, then we have cash. Cash has also improved a lot throughout the years. And another thing is the liabilities. For example, is the the current the current debt which has uh, decreased, which is also great. And finally a long term loan. The long term the the long term loan has increased, but this is a good thing. Normally when, when you have when you decrease your short term and convert it into long term it's very healthy for the company because you have more time to maneuver and continue operations. So now you know how to do a vertical analysis. This will help you to get to some conclusions 
but it's more a visual aid than a technical concrete analysis where you can take more of the decisions. You have to look more every element more in depth. So, but this is a good start to see where is the problem in the company. That's great. Thank you very much and see you later. <music>